All right, so for order of operations, I found a cool little activity for us or for you to do really while you're at home to practice this instead of just doing a worksheet. And it's called Truth or Dare. It's just like the Truth or Dare game. So what you'll do is you'll go to Google Classroom and there will be a link. And um, you will follow the link to this um, orders of operations game right here for truth or dare and um, I'm going to show you how you would work through it and how you're going to um, put your answers in and how it all works so what you do is you um, click decide if you want to do go to, if you want to do truth or dare um, so truth is going to be true false questions telling whether it's true or false dare is going to be where you actually work the problem out so I'm going to try truth first so you just click on the box right here and it says click to go to any truth card answer correctly to earn one point so you can pick whichever truth you want um, let's just say I want truth number three it says truth true or false when evaluating an expression multiplication comes before addition whatever you think the answer is what you're gonna do is you're gonna notice you're on number three right here so that's the problem you're working with number three you're gonna go to record your answer so I would type in my answer. You would be able to type in your answer. Let's see if it's going to let me do it. You can't do it in present mode. So you would type in your answer and you would say, let's say it's true. You would type true. And um, it was worth one point if we got it correct. And so then I would go back and I can either go to go to the truth questions or go to dare questions. Let's say I want to do dare. So I would click this and hit slide three. And I would say I want to do dare number 30. And I click slide 33. And it says evaluate. And so I would work this problem right here. Okay. Notice it's number 30 and it's worth two points. I would go here and I would record my answer in number 30, whatever it is, yada, 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 worth two points, such and such and such and such. And I could go back and forth, back and forth until I've answered all 30 of them okay then what you're going to do is I will also post the answer key into Google Classroom and so what you'll do is you'll go back and you'll go all the way down to the bottom right here and you'll go and check your answers and see if they're correct or not if they are correct let's say I got number three right so points attempted was one point I'd give myself a point Let's say um, right here, number 30, it was worth two points, but I didn't get it right, so I get zero points. Okay? And then what you're going to do after that is you're going to submit this, and this is going to be one of your assignments while you're out. So I hope you have fun, and um, happy truth or daring.